Alrighty, so today's video I've got a bit of a special unboxing. It's something I ordered a little over a week ago. It's uh, come through from a dealer in Perth. Um, I'm looking at the box condition. It looks like it's been beaten up a fair few times, so it might have been used as a football. Hopefully what's inside is okay, but um, I'm going to do my best to open it up because it looks like it's wrapped in a fair bit of tape, so I'll probably just fast forward all, all of this bit if it takes too long. So as you could tell from the title, it's going to be from a, a Star Wars set of coins. I think they're minted uh, out of a New Zealand mint. And uh, I was kind of excited that I found these because I didn't think I didn't think they had any left. I thought these were all out of stock and, and sort of impossible to come by unless you're going in the secondary market. So I was quite happy that there was some left and uh, because there were a few left, I did what I always tend to do, which is just get as many of them as I can. And because it's Christmas, I'm going to turn these into, I think, Chrissy presents for some friends and family. All right, so the outside layer of my football box looks like it's done its job anyway, because what's inside looks like it's in a little bit better shape. And, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see what's in here. Business card from the, from the dealer. There you go, if you're interested in getting any of these, you could give them, a, 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 I guess, a check out on their website, see if there's any left. There were a few uh, last time I checked. And here it is, the Darth Vader. It's a, it's a um, proof coin coming out of the New Zealand Mint. Got to get their license fees out of uh, wherever they can, Disney. I think they paid a fortune for the rights, but no doubt they're going to make it back probably in a weekend and a half. But a one ounce silver coin, limited edition. I think they're already really hard to find, so I'm really excited to get a hand of these or get a few of these and uh, on the box cover it looks like we've got a uh, the Imperial Crest was a six spoke symbol of Sheev Palpatine's Galactic Empire it dawned many things Imperial from uniforms and starships to flags and propaganda posters there's the coin See if I can, there we go, that looks a bit better. Try and get it as in focus as I can for you. It's going to be pretty cool because it's Star Wars after all. There we go. We've got the Queen's head on the back. And it kind of looks like it's taken from a scene out of episode four from the start of the film I think by the looks of it but I'll just have to watch it again because I have to just to be sure not because I want to just in detail the writing there one ounce 999 fine silver and then looks like Lucas George Lucas needs a bit more money Lucas Film Limited Looks like they get a cut as well. So I bought a few of those. 
so I won't bore you with all of them. But I think there's six of these Darth Vader's in total. So they'll make some nice Christmas gifts for uh, friends and family this Christmas. And I also got another coin for myself. I don't know if you've seen this one before, but it is, I think, from Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back, where they decided to freeze Harrison Ford, or Indiana Jones, or... Better known Han Solo at that time, anyway. So one thing I'm picking up, it doesn't doesn't really catch the light as well as some of those you know, high relief coins do, like the privateers. But um, who cares? It's Star Wars, man. It's still pretty cool. Alrighty, very excited about that. Hopefully my uh, kid will be, because he's going to get one for Christmas. And uh, that'll be reason and excuse enough for us to hit the bags of popcorn, get some soft drinks and watch this sucker on the big screen for episode 7 which has just come out. And uh, we'll watch the reruns on DVD this holiday period. So, looks like the COA is camouflaged over here in black, kind of hard to, hard to pick up. So a picture of helmet head over there. A little bit of background about about it as if you didn't know about it already and uh, who the designs by. Ten thousand of these I think were minted and sold out, it says there, so. Well, it says that 10,000 were minted, but the New Zealand Mint website says they're already sold out. So if you do come across one on the primary market, do grab it. And otherwise, I've got a feeling these will cost a lot more on eBay in a few years' time. So that's all I've got for today's unboxing. Give me the thumbs up if you like the coins. Shoot any comments and questions down below, and we'll catch you on the next video. Alrighty, take care. Now if you like this video and you'd like to see more just like it, why don't you show your support by joining the crew and we'll explore gold and silver together.